Okay, the next part we have is the camera part. The camera. Now, if this is your camera, the camera always has two plugs. The video plug and then the power plug, which is like this. So this is the video part and this is the word, the power part. Now when it comes to this video part, this video part have two cables inside. This power part too have two cables inside. Inside this, we have the okay, let me explain it further. Inside this, we have the positive and the negative, negative and positive part. This is for the video. Then this part, we probably have the negative and the positive part. This is for the power. This positive part and the negative part of your video, it is what we call the video balloon. That we are going video PNC, we are going to make it up here. Why this one is the power PNC? So with this, we are going to get. Come, let me show you. This is the video part, which is this. Why this is the power part, which is this. What we normally see in the power section is female female power PNC. That is what we normally see attached to the camera side for the power. Then what we have for this particular one is the male video balloon. Male video PNC. Male video PNC. That is what you normally find here. Why this part is the female power PNC for the camera. Now, if you want to, any cable you want to connect here. Now, assuming I have my DVR here. I have my DVR here. And I have my power supply unit here. This is my PSU. Then this is my DVR. If I want to connect this DVR to this, I'm going to run a cable from where the DVR is to where the camera is going to be. Now, this part you are going to see here, you are going to connect another BNC to this place. So the BNC you are going to connect here is going to be female BNC. That is what you are going to connect here. Female what? Female video BNC. That is what you are going to connect here. So that it can easily it can easily connect to this male. So once you connect it here, then this part is still going to be female PNC. So that at the back of the DVR, we already have male PNC fixed by default. So that once you come, you can easily connect this to this. So this is how it is connected. Then after you have connected your DVR to your camera, you will now need to connect your power supply unit to the camera. The camera connection is going to be like this. You run a cable from here to your power supply unit. Remember, the type of cable we are making use of is RJ59 power cable, which the two power and the video, they go together in the same 
shape they are joined. So this particular one, the power supply unit side, we are going to have connector. You put a connector here and you put a connector here. So the connector you are going to put here, remember this one is female for the camera. So we are going to put a male a male power BNC this terminal and then this particular one going to the power supply unit side depending on the type of power supply unit you have if it is the type of power supply unit that needs you to connect the positive and negative directly to the board of the power supply unit you don't need any connector here this one and I cycled now is normally in the control room or where the you intend to do the monitoring but this one is going to be outside okay now let's go to the DVR section 